eggs, glorious, wonderful eggs. They can be used in sweet applications, savory applications, and most people suck at cooking them. And for no reason, they're really not that hard. Today, I'm gonna to run you through 21 ways to cook eggs, no gimmicks, no rubbish. We're not gonna to go to a volcano. We're just gonna cook some proper eggs. Let's get stuck in. First up, the sunny side egg. A Little bit of olive oil, optionally a little bit of butter. Now, pan's on a medium heat. You don't want this ripping hot. You do want either a non-stick pan or a well-seasoned cast iron pan like I have here. Crack your egg on a flat surface. Then once the whites are set, you can turn your heat up a bit. But you're not looking for a rapid fry here. What you're trying to do, set the whites and leave the yolk nice and runny. Now the whites almost set, season with salt, optionally a bit of pepper, and pull it out just before the white is completely set. Why do we do that? Because of carryover cooking. That egg's still gonna cook. There you go, beautiful sunny side up fried egg. The folded egg, popular in the cafe scene in Melbourne. Kind of similar to the tornado egg, but not quite. Kind of, but not quite. Eggs, a little dash of milk, and whisk. Really want a non-stick pan for this. Medium high heat, neutral flavored oil, spatula. Haven't done these in ages and I'm nervous that I'm not gonna get it first try. Once your oil just starts to shimmer, eggs in. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, all to one side, and then let it roll around. The folded egg, not my finest one, but you get the idea. The French omelet, three eggs or four if they're small. No milk, non-stick pan, medium high heat. You can use cast iron if you want, but you're a braver person than I am. Tablespoon of butter, have your plate ready. Once your butter's melted, turn your heat down, eggs in. Now remember, a French omelet has no color on it, so start scrambling, start moving those eggs around. Should also have a runny center. Once the eggs are about half cooked, stop scrambling and flatten them out. Season with salt. Now you can have this plain. We're gonna do goat's cheese and some chopped chives. Heat off, wash your hands. Now, start rolling. And roll. Now, grab a clean paper towel over the omelet and make it like a rugby ball. And there you go, the French omelet should be no color and still runny in the middle. But if you don't like runny eggs, then cook it some more. The diner omelet. Eggs, milk, season with salt, whisk. Make a mess, clean as you go. Don't use a tea towel as a bench cloth. That's disgusting. Butter, have your plate ready. Now a diner omelet as opposed to a French omelet has color on the outside. Eggs in, scramble. Heat's on high, scrape down your edges and it's time to add your filling. Let's go to the classic, ham, cheese and tomato. A Little bit of pep, heat off, time to roll. Paper towel to adjust if needed. The diner omelet, ham, cheese, tomato. What a classic. Pickled eggs, boil your eggs. Eight minutes. While that's boiling, vinegar, water, sugar, bay leaf, black peppercorns, pinch of salt. Once your sugar and salt have dissolved, turn the heat off the pickling liquid. After eight minutes, ice cold water. Eggs go in, let them cool, two minutes. So we're gonna stir our mason jar. Now we're gonna peel our eggs, and in they go. Then pour over your pickling liquid. Doesn't matter if it's still hot. You wanna make sure the eggs are completely covered. So there you go, leave them to cool, pop them in the fridge. You can eat them the next day, but I highly suggest you leave them for at least two weeks as they just get better with age. Once you open them, you've only got about a week to eat them. Fantastic way to use up a bunch of eggs that are about to go off anyway. Steamed, well, it's actually more like a custard, savory custard, eggs in a bowl. This is delicious too, by the way. I know people have been to look at this and go, this is gross, it's actually delicious, try it. Chicken stock, Maggi seasoning. You can also just use soy sauce, white pepper. Whisk it well to the steamer. You got a steaming basket over some boiling water. Bowl in, eggs go in. Steam it for 18 minutes. It's only been 14 minutes, but woo, looks good. Use a towel, it's hot. I think it was actually a bit close to the water. It's cooked a lot faster. Anyway, you can garnish this however you want. I've got a little bit of chili crisp here, some chopped chives. Spring onions also delicious. There you go, savory egg custard. Guess we better taste. Ah, chop. Mm. Yum, savory, salty. What is not to like about that? That is delicious. Boiled eggs. We're gonna cook them for four, five, six, seven, and eight minutes and show you the difference. You want your water boiling, but not like going crazy. I'm gonna put these in the ice bath because I want them to stop cooking so we can see exactly what they're at. Four minutes, five minutes. Six minutes, seven minutes, and eight minutes. Time to peel. When peeling a boiled egg, crack it all the way around. Keep your bowl of ice water to peel into. You really need to get under that membrane, not just the shell. Oh, she's delicate at four minutes, tell you what. Time to cut them open. Look at the four minute one. Very hard to peel, very runny yolk and the white almost completely set but still some still some white there as well. If 
five minute, still pretty hard to peel, still very yummy roke. It doesn't actually look like it's cooked much more at all. And still the white not completely set. Six minute. Whoa, that's for me is about as good as it gets. Perfectly runny yolk and a completely set white. Seven minute. Completely set white, set kind of jammy yolk. We're starting to really cook that outside too, but also a pretty good egg, pretty acceptable egg, I'd say. And eight minute. Completely set white, jammy yolk. There you go. What's your favorite? I'm a number six type of guy. Why do you crack an egg on a flat surface? Because you risk the chance of shell going in. If you crack it on a sharp surface like this, you break the shell more and you get more pizza in it. Wok fried, crispy fried egg. Perfect for your next fried rice. Wok, full power. Lots of neutral flavored oil. I'm using peanut. Crack your egg into another container first. Why? Because this is gonna be really hot and you don't want your hand hovering over all that hot oil. Once your oil is ripping hot, in it goes. Doesn't take long, Whoop. done. Crispy white, beautiful soft center, how good. The sous vide egg, it's a stupid name because it's not actually sous vide. Sous vide means under pressure. You're just cooking it in a water bath or a water circulator at 64 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes to an hour. So after 45 minutes, you pull them out to crack one of these sous vide eggs open. That was a crack in me voice. <laughs> Give her a tap. What you really want to do is try and peel back a little hole that you can then pour out the egg. There you go. All right, so what a sous vide egg gives you is a super even cook all the way through. Now, if you look at that, that yolk is very jammy, as we call it. You even drop it down a couple of degrees and you'll have an even runnier yolk. Yolk? Yolk. But what we have had here is the fact that the white hasn't set properly, and that's because it's probably a bit of an older egg. That doesn't mean it's off, just not fresh. The over easy, fry pan, medium high heat. Oil, that's too hot. <laughs> Let it cool down a bit. Or add more oil, or both. Egg in, season with salt. Once the white's set, over she goes. 45 seconds, and she's done. Over hard, as the name suggests, it's just like the over easy, but with a hard yolk. Hot pan, egg goes in, season with salt. Turn the temperature down to medium, so that we have enough time to cook that yolk through without burning the white. Once your white is pretty much fully cooked, it's time to flip. Good looking egg, that. Two minutes later, whoop, there you go, over hard. How easy is that? The crumbed egg. These make a fantastic salad garnish. Flour, season with some pepper and salt. Egg, give it a whisk. So I've got some eggs here that I've boiled for six minutes. Cooled down in ice water and then peeled. In the flour, make it do a dance. Any excess off, into the egg. Egg, in the egg. All over, breadcrumb. So I like to double crumb my eggs. So from the breadcrumb, we go back in the egg. Make sure it's on all sides. Back in the breadcrumb. All right, we've got some peanut oil here set to 160 degrees Celsius. And carefully in they go. Once they're golden brown, out they come. Season with salt, there you go. Crispy fried egg. These things are delicious. Kind of like a cheats version of a scotch egg without any sausage meat. But like I was saying, cut it in half, put it on top of the salad. Stunning. Scrambled eggs. Contrary to popular belief, there's more than one way to scramble an egg. You can do it slowly, you can do it fast. It's really up to you. This is how I like to do it. Three eggs in a bowl. Give it a whisk. There's also the argument about whether you season your eggs now or at the end. Personally, I season them at the end. But if you like to season them now, be my guest. Pan, medium heat. About a tablespoon, maybe a bit more butter. And feel free to use as much as you want. It's gonna make it taste better. It's just maybe not the best thing for you long term. So non-stick pan, always use a rubber spatula. Once your butter's melted, in go your eggs. And start moving them. You want to scramble the eggs nice and slowly. And how far you scramble your eggs is also a matter of choice. I like my eggs pretty runny, but some people, Caitlin included, not a fan of runny eggs, so we cook hers a little bit further. And there's no right or wrong answer. It's how you like them. It's just what I feel like right now is a big plate of eggs. All right, we're at a really crucial step here. I like to shake my pan as well as mix it. And remember, the eggs will carry over cooking. Take them off the heat to the plate. And this is how I like them, nice and soft. Stunning. Soya sauce eggs. So in here, I have six soft boiled eggs. I cook these for six minutes and 30 seconds, just to be sure. Ice water, cooled them right down and peeled them. And here, we got some water. Soya sauce, would you believe it or not? A little bit of black vinegar and some sugar. Just gonna stir that until the sugar dissolves. This egg on my water jug. So once that sugar has completely dissolved, pour it over your eggs. Make sure they're completely covered. Cover them into the fridge overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you what they look like.
So these soya sauce eggs have been in the fridge overnight. Let's cut one open. So the sweet soya sauce mixture has permeated this egg all the way through. Absolutely delicious. Perfect for a bowl of congee or on top of your ramen. Poached eggs. And the age old question, to vinegar or not to vinegar? Me personally, I'm a vinegar type of guy. Not so much that you can taste it though. You don't need much. A couple of tablespoons, it'll change the pH level and it's just science. The whites are gonna set faster. Anyway, boiling water, a couple of tablespoons of white vinegar. Season with salt and make sure it comes back up to the boil. Another controversial thing is a lot of people stir their water. And if you do that and you get great results, then do that. But that is not what I do. I don't like to stir my water. I do, however, like to put my eggs into individual cups. Then really important, the water needs to be boiling like this before you put your eggs in. That velocity of those bubbles is what's gonna make the shape. Eggs in, and you really want that water to come up quickly. As soon as it starts to boil, you can then turn it back down. And you just wanna slowly poach your eggs. You can take off all the stuff at the top. All that is is the outside white part. That's the really wet stuff. So these eggs will only cook for about two, two and a half minutes, but they are very small eggs. So if you're gonna have bigger eggs, you're probably looking at three and a half minutes. I like to cut my tails off on the plate. Little season with salt, drizzle of olive oil, stunning. Coddled eggs. So you wanna find yourself some cups, glass or ceramic that can fit inside a pot that you have a lid for, and you'll see why in a second. Then you're just gonna crack an egg into each one. A pinch of salt, a little bit of black pep, a little knob of butter. Bink, bink. Think of this as like a fancy dippy egg. So you got your dippy egg, Daz. So you want your water just simmering. In they go, lid on. And we'll check them in five minutes. All right, five minutes, let's have a look. All right, these are gonna be hot. Maybe use tongs. I've got strong fingers, chef's fingers. Stunning. So there you go. You can see there's still that fat on the top. The white's perfectly set and the yolk is still runny. Perfect for some soldiers. Mm. And last, but certainly not least, the coffee machine eggs. All my coffee geek mates get very annoyed when I do this. They are very vocal about it. I don't know what the issue is, right? They're like, oh, it's gonna get sucked back up into the boiler and blah, blah, blah. But if that was the case, then the boiler would be full of milk, wouldn't it? I don't know, anyway, anyone at Lomazoko or Breville or any of those coffee machine companies, leave me know in the comments. Am I gonna break my machine by doing this? Hasn't broken yet. So that, pinch of salt, little knob of butter, give it a whisk or a spoon or a fork to the coffee machine. All right, purge your wand and in it goes. It doesn't take long. Give it a little mix and we're done. Look at that. Scrambled eggs in no time. And that was literally the fastest eggs that we cooked all day. Now go clean the coffee machine wand because that stuff gets sticky and dirty. They're pretty good too. They are really good. They're like light and fluffy. I'm guessing all the steam just puts air in them. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Anyway, legends, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you took something from this. Let me know in the comments if you did, or let me know if you think I'm completely wrong and butchered at all. I'd love to hear it either way. Like this video if you took anything from it, subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next week for another recipe. Peace. I'm so over eggs. No more eggs. <laughs>